What's going on guys? Proof here. I'm bringing you something a little different today. I'm bringing you a, a live card fight area battle. Uh, but before I get to it, I'm going to uh, showcase the deck that I'm going to be using today. It's going to be my Legion Break Rise Spike Brothers deck. Uh, the way it focuses is to get off a lot of attacks by combining a lot of attacks with high power, I should say, by combining Bad End Dragger with Bloody Ogre. Uh, the way the two combine is that when you break ride Bloody Ogre on Bad End, Bad End skill will allow you to, when your rear guards attack, they your Spike Brothers rear guards, they attack with 10,000 power, then they go back to the deck. With Bloody Ogre, it says that, <clears throat> excuse me, it says that when he legions and your rear guards attack, they get 5,000 power and they go back to the deck as well. So you combine them together and all your rear guards attacking this turn get an additional 15,000 power. But I'll break down a little bit more how it goes. I'm sorry, the triggers. Uh, four heal, of course. And I play seven draw in this between Cheerful Links and Cheer Girl Bowling. Uh, the reason I play seven draw is because the deck needs to get some pieces together specifically uh, frozen ogres and bad ends or bloody ogres and the draws help with that along the course of the game uh, I've tried it's like six six draw five draw this way the deck's been working the best for me uh, it helps definitely pull the pieces together and I can filter them with Gary again to get a uh, more quality card over just the quantities that the draws give me and I play five crit. Uh, the reason I play five was, well, of course, you have Silence Joker here. He, uh, he says to, when you move him to the soul, when he's on rear guard, you unflip a damage, which helps for emergency unflip unflip purposes. Uh, but I played the five crit here because even though it still helps during the middle portion of the game if I get him, and it also gives me more 10k shields in my hand to help protect myself from the various attacks that'll be coming at me. Because I need to defend myself enough to break right. And then after that, I let the, the offense of the deck uh, take over from there, the explosiveness that it has. Uh, for grade ones, I have four Maryland standard. Uh, I don't play the quintet wall because the deck is so counterblast heavy that playing the quintet wall is more of a liability than it is a benefit to me. Uh, two Gary Gannon. Gary Gannon is the Vanguard booster, the the best Vanguard booster the deck has because he allows you to use these draws that you get and filter them out for more quality cards. Uh, I try to get it out with Mecha Trainer if it's not already in my hand. If it is, I'll typically get a Perfect Guard or Gloria who I'm going to get to in a second. Uh, he definitely replaces Wonder Boy when it comes to Vanguard boosting because with the deck being able to get off six or more attacks on the break ride turn. A uh, bad end attacking for 21,000 isn't as important as it is. It's still nice, but it's not as important, especially when you can filter your card, filter your hand for more quality cards because you're trying to get those right pieces together. And I play four, four, four Machine Gun Gloria. Her ability says after she boosts a grade one or greater Spike Brother, and whether it hits or doesn't, you counter blast one, you draw a card, and you put the boosted unit onto the bottom of the deck. It's really good if you're missing a grade three or bad end or something like that is to help you um, pull pull cars together. And it turns bracky and reckless from a negative into a break even because you can replace it with another card in your hand. It's really good and it's a 7k booster to boot so there's a reason not to have her in here. Uh, she's helped me get a, a bad end when I needed it or just a grade three in general. Because it was sitting on top and there's no grade 3 searcher in Spike Brothers. Because we have the God Amongst Men when it comes to starters and Mecha Trainer. Um, it's Conroe for Spike Brothers. If you're not familiar with Conroe, it's a Counter Blast 1 Retire it. Search your deck for any grade 1 or lower Spike Brother and put it into your hand. It's really good. It's the best starter the deck has. And there's no reason not to play him over. Not even the Legion Booster is worth it in my opinion. Because he can get off the field versus the likes of uh, Kagero, things like that, that can easily retire the back row. And you can get a little bit of use out of it for deck then. And because it gets Gary into your hand to at least get a use out of it before he gets nuked invariably. 
And I played three Reckless. I love Reckless in here. That's why I still have him. On top of that, he's also really good for getting off the field against anything that can front row retire or lock like Link Joker. Because it comes in it comes in, in emergencies if you have a 7k booster but nothing to attack with. Uh, use his skill, get it off the field after you boost with it and attack with it. And it attacks for 19,000 before triggers are applied. Which is amazing and it's very helpful to have it in a pinch situation. As for grade twos, I have four Frozen Ogre, who is the the keystone piece of the of the deck in my opinion. Well he's the most important because he gets everything going on the break ride Legion turn. He says when he attacks during the turn you perform Legion. Uh counter blast attacks the Vanguard, counter blast one, put him into the soul. And you search out another unit and put it into the open rear guard circle. The way it works is that since he gets off the field, you can put it into the slot that he opens up for you. And it doesn't say another unit, meaning that you can chain call frozen ogres to attack as long as you have them in the deck still. Which is amazing because you can get off three, three attacks tops with just frozen ogres alone before your vanguard attacks and you can just apply the triggers however way you want to uh, I love this card uh, he he does what Mason does for you but a whole lot easier like it has it has constant pressure more so than just on hit pressure and it's definitely a four of in any Spike Brothers deck that you choose to play uh, provided it has Legion of course uh, three Bracky. I play Bracky for the same reason I play Reckless in that it has good mid game and it helps against Link Joker, Eradicators if you run into them, the front row retired things like Blaster Blade Seeker, uh, Sky Howl Dragon. They help get off the field so they can't be targeted. So your opponent has to take the 5,000 additional power that comes with it and then it gets off the field. So your opponent has to attack your vanguard if they choose to attack if it if it was your only unit out. So it helps it helps facilitate you being able to break ride on time. And I just love it. It's definitely going with me in any Spike Brothers deck that's going right now. Unless Bushro decides to give Spike Brothers some more support that forces Bracky out. Three Silver Blaze. Silver Blaze is the Legion version of Bracky. So when you attack in Legion and you Soul Blast, it gets plus 10,000 power instead of just the standard 5,000. And it's great to have it because when you combine it with the power that you get from Bad End and Bloody Ogre, uh, it gets a, a total additional power of 25,000 by itself. So it can attack for 34,000 unboosted, meaning with triggers or a booster, it, it can attack for 41,000 or higher, which is hilariously incredible in my opinion. It definitely helps finish the games off. Uh, and two Jumbo, the stun gun. I, was, I wasn't sold on Jumbo when I first saw it. And then I chose to try it. And I immediately fell in love with it. Because the way it works is that you use Frozen Ogres on your Break Ride Legion turn until you're down to one Counter Blast. And then you call out Jumbo. Use his ability which says when he's called out during the battle phase, Soul Charge 1 and Unflip a damage. You use him to get yourself back to two open counter blasts to give you access to Bloody Ogre's counter blast two skill, which says counter blast two, choose a card in your hand, put into the soul, and then call out a unit from your deck, which helps you get this guy here at the tail end of the game to force through whatever's left in your opponent's hand. I, I love it. Uh, it's only a two of because it's only it's most useful on on the final push for the game. And other than that, he kind of, uh, it's an 8k body. He's not amazing. He's not amazing in power, but his utility is what makes him amazing. And then the grade threes, of course, I touched on them a little bit ago. Uh, the main thing to remember is that uh, Bloody Ogre has the, the Counter Blast 2 skill. That's That can be an outside of Legion. So if you happen to miss bad in, you're still not uh, up a creek without a paddle in essence because you can still legion and give your units plus five to attack and still use this counter blast two skill to get things back and rolling again 
I've won games just sitting on Bloody Ogre because the 5,000 power allowed me to chain five attacks together between Frozen, uh, Jumbo, and Silver Blaze here, all combining together to make a cohesive offense for the deck. It really is like a football team, which is what they're designed after. All the pieces come together for the greater good of the whole. But don't think if you miss bad end dragger that your whole game is wrecked because you missed it because bloody ogre still has a lot of push through power just by virtue of having your units attacked for an additional stage but that's the deck that i'll be using today and i'm going to pause the video until i'm able to come into a good game to give you guys i'm going up against seal dragons right now And so against Seal Dragons, chances are I'm going to lose anything that I'll call out to the rear guard circle because they're so efficient when it comes to retiring. So we'll see. We'll play it by ear from there. But with the way my hand is, I'm going to just put back one of the, the ogres since I have everything else secure in my hand. Alright, I start this time. So I draw. I get another trigger. So... It will come in handy for guard purposes later. I may go ahead, even though they can officially retire my things, I might go ahead and still call uh, or still grab Gary Gannon from the deck with Mecha Trainer because at least I'll have it for a turn of use prior to it being blown up. So I'm going to take this first attack just to give myself access to my counter blast. I lost a frozen ogre, but I can heal that back later, so that's not a problem. Alright, he's done, so I draw into Silver Blaze. I will ride Silver Blaze because it's the better ride option over Bracky, in my opinion, in this case. So I grab the, the Ganon. That way I can filter my hand out a little bit. The only bad thing about filtering cards is if you have a lot of draw triggers, you have a higher chance of drawing the draw trigger. So. I get Gloria, which is, that's dandy. It'll come in handy as a booster next turn. And then I'm going to drop the draw trigger since Gary, and I get another Frozen Ogre, which is great for me. Even though I have the Counter Blast flipped here, I have the Silence Joker right here, which on the Break Right Leader turn, provided it's still in my hand, it may not be. I can put it into the soul and unflip a flip damage if I don't hit a heal by then. Uh, he's playing Seal Dragon Novell. That's a video that I showcased not too long ago. I give him props for that. Give him props for that because. I definitely enjoyed that deck and I definitely uh, piloted <laughs> Get a little confusion over Terry Cloth though. Let's see how it reacts from here. And he doesn't know how to use the deck. That's unfortunate. I don't think he gets it. <laughs> I'm 
not going to try and cheat the guy. He can put it back if he wants to, if he was just mistaken on the skill. But he's going to be that way. I will continue on from there. So I lost another from Bloody Ogre, which is fine. I have the one in my hand that I need. And so that's kind of cool that he was playing Seal Dragon Novel, even though he was confused on it. So I get a perfect guard, which is great. Cause so now that I know he's playing Seal Dragon Novel, I'm going to hit him a little bit harder. Especially since he healed off that one damage. So bad end dragger is gonna be attacking for 19. It's gonna be, it's gonna hit most likely unless he drops a 20k. And I got another silence joker. So I'm gonna give the crit to my vanguard power to Bracky. I'm gonna choose not to. Oh, I don't know what the heck he's playing. If he's playing uh, weather cloth, I'm gonna use Ganon skill to get rid of this Ganon here. And I got another. That's what I was looking for. Another 7k booster. I'm not going to use uh, Bracky's skill because it'll come in handy and if you choose to retire it that's fine. So he's probably going to either rock Terry Claw or Weather Cloth or Cruel Dragon since he tried to retire last turn or never mind. So since he has Dragonic Overlord the Break Ride I'm going to get Bracky off the field immediately no matter what happens because if he takes the damage It'll be at four, but I won't call anything else out. I'm gonna no guard this attack. I have a I have a plan of action here. So I'm gonna take this attack. And there's the Novell. I think he just has every break ride in the deck. I don't th I don't think that's a well made deck, but it is what it is at this point. So my plan here is to not call anything out and use Bracky to get it off the field. Or use Bracky and get it off the field so he can't use the break ride of Dragonic Overlord to be able to hit this for free. Don't need to use Ganon anymore. Use Bracky like I was saying. Get Silver Blaze out of there. So if I choose to Legion, he's gonna take this because he has no Veil in his hand. And I'm not going to use Glory as ability, even though I could. I have enough cards in my hand, but I need to save at least one of these Silence Jokers, and one of them might be used next turn to help guard against a rear guard attack they can't use it against Novell but I'll be able to, su to survive barring a double critical since he can't he's only going to be able to get one normal attack off because I got rid of my rear guard here for him to attack so that's why Bracky comes in handy because it helps get off the field against these kinds of things And since he's apparently seems to be a new person, I'll just break it down to him that Novell gets minus 1,000 when it's uh, in the rear guard circle. And this way he doesn't get the free double standoff because if he had Dauntless there, it wouldn't have mattered if I had it here or not more so than anything. But I'm going to guard this. And hedge my bets on the fact that Novell won't hit a double critical at this point. Because with the way the break ride legion works, I'm going to be attacking for at least 24,000. So it hits over the, the 13k defenses like it would for anything else. Okay, so he knows it can't restand. Uh, I'm gonna take the damage here. About the off chance that he hits a heal trigger here, 
he won't be able to heal off the damage because this is the go for broke turn pretty much and then I break ride legion up because I have enough to do so put this silver blaze back and this Should have one left in the deck. Call this out. Call this out. So I didn't hit the heal trigger to get this back, which is unfortunate. But I've never been in this attacking situation before. So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to attack here. I'm going to put it back to the deck. Without using his uh, his skill. And then I'll be able to get it back with this frozen ogre right here. So I put it back to the deck. Due to the break right. Then I'm going to attack with this one unboost it and I'm gonna use the, the skill to bring it back that's what I'm gonna do I've never been in the, the double frozen ogre scenario or not never but it's tricky frozen skill put it to the put it to the soul get this one back shuffle so same end result a little bit but a little bit different frozen skill again and there's there's no point in me getting jumbo out I can just go straight into silver blaze here and then attack on my vanguard and get the other silver blaze then have 41k attacks coming in yeah that's not hitting strong no pass let's see 23 33 43 that's two pass cause 43 here but I'm not gonna risk it there's no point in risking it in this case. And so since I have so much ample soul now, thanks to those frozen ogres coming in, this going to be attacking for, well, I have the power wrong. I forgot to adjust it, but that's pretty much how the deck works. And that's the end of the game there. Hope you guys enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm um, trying to get better at these. I know it's my first time, so I'll get better at these when I when I do keep bringing you guys some more live content videos. Later, guys.